Hi, I'm Jim Ruckman from Me Pass Performance. We're here to show you an install for a Fox Body Mustang. In the kit consists of electric motor, ECU, firewall plate, bracket, steering shafts, and universal joint. Now we need to move to the vehicle and remove the steering system from rag joint to steering wheel, including the firewall plate, and bring it over to the table to start cutting. Okay, now we have the steering column out of the vehicle, we need to disassemble it from the inner shaft, outer shaft. What you'll have to do is end up pulling this out of the steering column, and then we'll start making our cuts. Our first cut will be on this tube here, and it'll be one inch down, will be your first cut. After that's cut, we'll flip it over. A hole will need to be drilled for the set screw on the electric motor, and that is one inch up from the bracket. After that's done, this is discarded. Now we'll move on to the upper part and the inner shaft. It'll need to be cut from the end to here, and that's cut at six and a quarter inches. Then you'll need to clean the end after the cut and make two notches for the set screws for the electric motor then everything will need to be reassembled. Now that everything is cut, the lock mechanism in double D is gonna be reinstalled in the upper part of the steering column, and then you're gonna tighten both the bolts. Then we're gonna to have to put this on the end of the electric motor, tighten both set screws. This is gonna take some effort, only because the steering shaft inside is loose to get it into the double D. After that is done, leave the steering motor adapter loose for clocking after we put it back in the vehicle. Now that we've put together the steering column with the set screws tight, leaving the steering column adapter loose for clocking at a later time. There's a couple things that need to be done. The firewall plate needs to be screwed back into the vehicle on the interior, leaving it loose. The steering shaft will be needed to put on the steering rack and the universal joint will need to be put on. And then we'll move on to installing the steering column. Okay, now from the interior of the vehicle, we're gonna need to install our motor bracket. You gotta keep in mind that the notch goes towards the firewall. The quarter inch hardware supplied will need to be put through the hole in the brake bracket. You'll notice when you look under here, there's a quarter inch hole pre-drilled. That'll need to go and stay loose for when we install the motor and then it'll hold itself still. Now it's time to install the steering column electric motor back into the vehicle. We're gonna have to take the supplied three quarter double D shaft with the spline and install it on the motor, tighten the two set screws, and then this is gonna have to go through our firewall plate, which we installed earlier, which is all loose. It's gonna be kind of difficult, but we need to uh, get it done. Now the steering column is installed. The column clamp is tight. The double D universal joint is tight. Firewall plate is tightened. We're gonna go ahead and clock the motor. And when you clock the motor, It'll go up in the bracket on the stud. We'll install the nut and we'll go ahead and go up top and tighten everything down. Okay, now that we've installed the motor bracket, tightening up the motor and tightening it up to the brake pedal assembly, we'll go ahead and tighten the three set screws on the motor adapter that the steering column was inserted to. Okay, now that the steering column is mounted in the car and everything is tight, we're gonna go ahead and mount the ECU. The ECU consists of battery power, steering input, 
ground, ignition hot, and potentiometer. We've already installed an ECU in the vehicle. You cannot see it, so there won't be a picture of it, but the potentiometer needs to be put into a location that's easy accessible, which we have found here on the dash plate. Let's all hook everything up and we'll try the system. Now that all the e-pass equipment is installed, the battery is reconnected, we will go ahead and turn the ignition hot and wait for the click in the steering ECU. Okay, we heard the click. All right, now the steering system is done and checked. Thank you for watching our videos.